And yeah, I mean, that's basically it. And one last thing you might want to add is music to your uh, um, storyline. So you can choose your songs from your iTunes library. Or if you click this drop down menu, you can go to where it says iLife sound effects. Now these are just basic um, stock sounds. Like jingles just gives you a whole bunch of songs from iLife to put in your um, projects, say Harbor or Headspin. There's a whole bunch of stock footage, I mean stock music. A whole bunch of different genres. So you can just choose from any one of those. Uh, what am I going to choose? Let's see. It's a lot to choose from, so you want to spend a little time looking through each one. And you can just press space bar to preview each of these. You can go up and down with the up and down arrows, or you press space bar. Uh, I'm just going to choose some random one. Don't criticize me. So let's say choose that. Uh, put it right there. And this is, oh, let's move it over a little bit. And here we go. Now what we've done is just added some music to our video so it doesn't look as plain. And we're getting we're getting pretty far here, adding music and stuff. Now of course you'll sync your music up with your photos or video depending on what it is. And this is the medium version, they have the long version with the times here, there's 32 seconds, 21, 11. So you, know, you can just choose which one of the songs, you can always add more than one song to, like this two-seater, just add that right after. So you have it like this. You can see that just went along really, really well, and that was just a random drag and drop. And so I think that, that that'll be all, except for, I mean, this is your video. You have all your footage here. And once you're done, you go to Share, Export, Movie, Export using QuickTime, or you can use any one of these options. I find that with YouTube or Vimeo or Facebook, there's some kind of little issue going on, so I would just export movie so just choose that and then it gives you this to name your video as and leave it as tutorial project and you can choose a whole bunch of different options HD 180p 720p I would go with 720p or 180p you can see which different devices you can view it on depending iPad iPhone iPod so I mean it's safe to go with 720p just because you want HD footage but depending on what you're doing, you just choose whichever one. But of course, I'm going to choose 1080p just because I like high resolution. And you click export. And basically, it exports a video over maybe a 10 minute time frame, 20 minute, 30 minutes, 3 days, 20 years. Depending on how much stuff you have in your project. And that's basically all for basic video editing in iMovie. Um, comment. If you have any questions, send me an email on my website. I'm always going to respond. Um, I mean, yeah, that's basically all. And so we go to the advanced iMovie section. But that'll be all for this. Thanks for watching and have a good day.